Hello everyone and welcome to a New Horizon 5 Seasonal Summary episode. Series 7 Summer is here along with the chance to get the new 250 GTO by earning the points from the festival playlist events, besides the other seasonal rewards including the rather expensive 71 Mustang. Details and timestamps are in the video description, while any of my tunes can be found by my gamer tag Darksider9229. Also, for more help and share codes, you can always join the Discord server, the Search G Club, or check the video details and community posts. With the unknown, let's dive into it, and if this helps, remember to like and subscribe for more. Your support is much appreciated. Thanks. Starting with this week's Forzaton, original hot hatch and its 80 Forzaton points besides the 5 seasonal ones. This week you'll have to drive another Volkswagen, the cheap 83 Golf GTI which is available in the auto show. For the second chapter you must win any street scene against any difficulty. So pick any of these purple races and win them, even with a stock car. Third chapter, earn 5 stars in total from speed zones. Either tune your car or complete the same one like 5 times for 1 star each as I did. As for the fourth, you need an ultimate skill chain. This is going to be more difficult in stock, so you might eventually want to upgrade the car to A or S class. Then just earn as many as different skills you can to trigger it by jumping, landscaping, wrecking, drifting and so on. Filling in car mastery perks should help get it even easier. And that's it for yet another easy weekly Forzaton challenge. The festival shop has two more cars out of which one is the cool and hard to find Subaru 22B. While from the Super 7 for the first 7 challenges successful completion this week you can get a rally Nissan truck. Regarding the daily challenges, in case you have trouble with any, please use the comment section below or ask over Discord and I'll guide you through. Next, it's time for the trial, 8 of the party, 800 road racing in trucks, for a Mexican suit. As the picture in the festival playlist shows, the tank pool might be the better racer out of the two available trucks. But since I tried to fix the constant rollover issue of the Unimog and the fact that it is 5 times cheaper, I decided to give it another try. It surely turned out better than my previous attempt. It can still flip, but at least not in every single corner. But if you have the tank pool or half a million to spare, better get that instead for this trial. Once you get the trial, one event lab awaits you, Horizon Jung Jungle Cruise. We have to use some B700 pickups and 4x4s. Being a good all-rounder, I decided upon the 2021 Bronco as it has the best acceleration out of the three I had ready. The other cheap contenders would have been the Hummer H1 and 2011 Ford SVT. Difficulty doesn't matter, so you can even do it over tourist, which I actually recommend. Next, it's time for the PR stunts, starting with La Mesa Danger Sign, 185 meters in 800 BMW M3 from 2008. I've retuned it to better fit the rough terrain this week's danger sign is found on and threw it off the hill. You can also win this car from one of this week's championships in case you don't have it. San de las Minas Speed Trap 193.1 km in B700 Subarus. You have quite a few options here, but I went with the 20. For Impreza STI, but any would probably do since it is really easy to cut the last few corners straight to keep up your speed. And lastly is Camino de Montana Drift Zone, 140k points in S1 drift cars, or say Formula Drift cars. 
So pick whichever Formula Drift car you might have. Make sure to switch to manual transmission. And then just set it to third or fourth and just slide around. Using manual gears make it a walk in the park, probably even for drifting with a keyboard which I actually tried out this run. A controller can easily get you more points thanks to the better handling control that you get, but as you can see it can easily be done using a keyboard too, no matter how good of a drifter you are. Next, we're back to three seasonal championships, Chihuahua Express, S1900, road racing in anything goes for the M3 BMW that you'd need for the danger sign of this week. I picked the 2018 M5 even though I was quite close to pick the same old 570S McLaren that I usually use online with a friend's tune-on, the GT2020 or even the Nissan R390 or 2017 GTR. Tunes for any of them besides the 570 can be found by my gamertag if needed. Volkswagen Carib Legends B700 Dirt Racing in Volkswagen Cars for the Traffic Light. Given that this is only against highly skilled drivers, my choice was the older but more powerful R32. It doesn't have the best brakes, but it is more than enough for this dirt race, especially since it has proven itself in past seasonal trailblazers too. And lastly, La Fiesta A800 Street Scene in Ford only for the number 14 Fiesta. Only had two cars tuned, and those were the two 2009 Focus RS and the 73 Capri RS. Eventually pick the first as it is not as stiff as the Capri and in street scenes the car should be slightly more flexible to squeeze through incoming traffic. With nothing else to do it's time for a super easy treasure hunt. Fly the fire like a bird to collect 5 stars. That is the Pontiac Firebird that we need to drive and earn 5 stars in total from danger signs, since we already seen the picture this is about jumps. You have arrived. Once gathered the treasure chest clue will appear. And it can be found here. On the side of the road in the swamp for 100 Forza Tom points. For the photo challenge of this week we're heading to Guanajuato, decorated for Cinco de Mayo. Go there with any car and take a picture of it along with the decorations. Next it's time for the Horizon Open. Start a custom event from the playlist or the Horizon Open menu and drive a car above 161 km for 10 seconds. This should be incredibly easy, unless you are doing it in D100 class. Just make sure you keep your car speed above the target for 10 continuous seconds. As for the monthly rivals of this series, you must complete a clean lap in the new Ferrari. That means no crashing and no rewinds are allowed so that you don't get an exclamation mark next to your name like I did in previous laps. Completing it during summer will automatically count it for the rest of the seasons too. And with that we sum up the summer of the new series 7 seasonal playlist. Thanks to everyone that managed to join tonight, it has been a pleasure as always. If this helps, make sure to like and subscribe for more, your support is much appreciated. Thanks. See you on Thursday, Friday with the next completion summary for the upcoming Atom season of Series 7 along with its new additions to the game and the weekly open lobby stream for the trial and other events as usual on Saturday evening. 
you'll be able to set a reminder if you go over the channel on the upcoming live streams tab. But until then, thanks for watching and have fun racing.